ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. Today, we're putting that power to the test here on K-Check! Gabby Concepcion. At ako naman po si Jules Giang and welcome to K-Check! This is our penultimate week of competition kung saan mapipili ang ating huling set of daily winners at ang weekly winner natin who will take the last spot in our semi-finals round. At dahil malapit na pong matapos ang journey ng ating mga contestants, malapit na rin nating malaman kung sino sa kanila ang tatanghaling K-Check Champion. Apat na contestants ay dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Si Joanne ay isang mag-aaral mula sa BA Theater Arts major in Theater Management. Ilan sa kanyang sinalihang produksyon ay mula sa UP Dulaang Laboratorio bilang aktor, director, stage manager at production manager. Noong nakaraang Hunyo 15 at 16, siya ay naging tagapamahala ng produksyon sa Teodora Gregoria Teresa ni Rene O. Villanueva at Maluha Ko. Si Graciel naman is a student of UP Diliman studying geography. Her hobbies are playing the guitar, singing, and playing sports. She also listens to a variety of music genres like rock, K-pop, OPM, and classical music. She's a member of UP Red Cross Youth and Geography Organizations and an applicant of UP Lyrica and UP Super. Si Stephen naman is a BS Geography student at UP Diliman. He enjoys playing basketball, video games, and going on food trips. Lately, he has become an avid fan of Beanie's music. And last but not least, Kay is a BA Theater Arts student from UP Diliman. Aside from performing, she likes to read books, play instruments, play video games, and watch movies and TV shows. Her interests include anime such as Sailor Moon and the K-pop girl group Red Velvet. Okay, so these four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Firstly, we have UP Diliman Department of Art Studies Chair, Assistant Professor Sofia Guillermo. Sunod naman, we have Professor Neil Santillan, former chairperson of UP Diliman Department of History. And finally, we have Assistant Professor Marlar Endriga of the Department of Biology from UP Manila. At ngayon, contestants, on to round one. Each correct answer in this round is worth 10 points. Get ready to buzz in dahil ang goal nyo is to get that early lead. Let's begin! This is round one. Contestants, question number one. Evali, E-V-A-L-I, is a relatively new inflammatory lung condition that often requires hospitalization. What does the V in Evali stand for? The correct answer is vaping. Evali stands for e-cigarette or vaping product use associated lung injury. So, sa mga nagve-vape, nako, meron ng bagong condition yan. Huwag nang mag-vape. Meron pang. Question number two. What is the title of the animated movie released by Disney in 2023 about fire and water characters trying to save a convenience store? Grachelle. Elementals. Elemental is correct. K-check. Is it Grachelle? Grachelle? How Grachelle. do we pronounce it? Grachelle. Okay. Question number three. Which DC superhero who first appeared in 1939 has a name which means a sudden burst of light? Grachelle. Flash. The flash. flash is the correct answer. K-check. Question number four. In music this time, to what family of instruments do the mandolin and kudyapi belong? K. Strings. Strings is correct. K. Check. Question number five. In chess, what piece is also known as a castle? K. Rook. Rook is the correct answer. K. Check. Question number six. 
Which NBA player won the Most Valuable Player Award five times and the NBA title six times between 1988, Stephen? Uh, Michael Jordan. Between 1988 and 1998, the correct answer is Michael Jordan. K okay, check. Question number seven. Christopher Luxon was sworn in in November 2023 in Wellington as the Prime Minister of what nation? The correct answer is New Zealand. Question number eight. What do you call the curved weapon that is used by an archer? K. Bow is the correct answer. K check. Question number nine in human anatomy. Which large organs functions are bile production, protein synthesis? Yes, K. Endocrine system? That answer is incorrect. Protein synthesis, glucose regulation, and drug metabolism. Question number 10, contestants, stratus and cumulus are two types of what atmospheric phenomena? Stephen. Uh, clouds. Clouds is the correct answer. K check. Question number 11, in quick math, what number is three times the sum of 11 and 22? Baka bumigay ang ating mga buzzer, mga contestants. 99 Rachel. po. 99. 99 is the correct answer. K-check. And question number 12, and the last question for this round. What stage name did Ryan Ong Palau use when he took part in the first season of RuPaul's Drag Race in 2009? Okay. Ongina. Ongina is the correct answer. K check. So no 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 it's an post drag race. Hindi naman mashad. <laughs> and that's it for the first round. Thank you so much, Attorney, for that round. So let's do a scores recap. K is now leading with 40 points, followed by Gracial with 30 points, Stephen with 20 points, and Joanne. Pedi pang humabol sa ating mga susunod na rounds. So, attorney, dito na tayo sa favorite na segment natin na mas kinikilala natin itong mga contestants natin. Ito ang... Kay Chica! Ayan, para mawala yung nervyos natin. Simulan natin si Joan. Joan, pwede mo bang ipaliwanag sa amin kung ano itong production ninyo na Teodora, Gregoria at Teresa? This is production po namin siya. So, uh, ako po ay ano doon, um, production manager po. Ako po yung nag -e ensure kung okay po yung mga departments ng bawat prod like costume, uh, set and props. Kailangan po, uh, tinitingnan ko po kung umaandar po yung bawat department. So, pasado naman. Na-defend naman. Sure. Na-defend. Na-defend naman. This is defended. Tagumpay. Yes. Oh. Ito naman, maraming salamat, Joanne. Ito naman si Gracel. Tila maraming time on her hands dahil bukod sa ilang organizations kung saan siya ay miyembro, nag apply pa na maging miyembro ng two more organizations. Bakit parang gusto mong salihan itong mga orgs na to at bakit parang ang dami naman? Meron ka pang time mag-aral? Di ba? Parang, <laughs> parang yes, tanong yan, hindi ka ba tinatanong ng nanay mo? <laughs> Actually po, for this semester, I'm also a university scholar. Ay! Dupala. Kira yun. And for me po, for our applying orgs kasi po, and joining orgs, part po to ng um, para sa akin, para makagive back rin po sa community and to practice being a well-rounded person rin po. A holistic student. Oo, yan ang hinahanap natin palagi. Thank you Pero so much. Pero tinanong ka nga ba ng nanay mo? Hindi naman. Hindi ka naman linilimitahan. Um, sa mga extracurricular activities. Actually, sinusuportahan naman po nila yung decisions ko. Tiwala. Very good. And parents. Thank you so much, Grishel and Joanne. Pero mamaya, babalikan natin sina Stephen at Kay para malaman naman ang inyong mga backstories. Okay. But first, maganda na tayo for round two. Susunod na yan sa pagbabalik ng Kay Check.
Welcome back everyone. Reminder lang sa ating mga points. We have a recap. K with 40 points. Followed by Gracial with 30. Stephen with 20. And Joanne with a bit of catching up to do. Pero before tayo magpatuloy, Atty. Tuloy na natin promise, ang second diba? part ng K. K. Chica. Chica. Si Stephen naman, itong kakausapin natin. So Stephen, bakit ngayon lang what made you finally notice and become a fan of Vini? Kasi si Jules, dati na siyang fan ng Vini. No? Hindi <laughs> ba? Sorry, sorry. Uh, actually po, uh, kasi sa mainstream lang po talaga nakikinig ng music. Then, nag-appear yung songs nila. Tapos, dun ko po nagustuhan. Kaya, I started listening to their other songs na rin po. Ano so, favorite song mo ng Bini? Ah, uh, yung ano po? Na, na, na. Na, na, na. na, na. na, na, na. Yeah. Parang hindi ko alam niyo. Pa-mainstream pa lang siguro. Pero kasama na yun sa mga sikat. Yes. Eh, sinasayaw ni Kay. Nako, sumasayaw na si Kay. <laughs> Kay, ikaw ba ay Bini fan din? Opo. Ah, pero parang nabanggit mo ba yan sa iyong ano? Ay, sa iyong, hindi po. Hindi, ano? Pero siguro, mas magandang umpisa natin ng sample. Ano ang favorite Bini mo? Song mo? Ako po, ano po, yung favorite ko po, Carrera. 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 Yung hindi, ano? Ito yung hindi, ano? Hindi Carrera. Yung mag-mag-alala. Oh. Buhay ay di Carrera. Yon. Yes. So, at your own pace. Yun yung message niya. Anong tawag sa mga fans ng Bini? Blooms. 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 Bakit Blooms? Ano ba? Only if you know. <laughs> you need to be one first. <laughs> wow, ganun talaga. Wala bang pasample niyan? Meron bang dance ang karera? Wala. Wala po. Wala. Salamin lang. Salamin, salamin po. Sige pero... nga, miski na yung one line lang. Hindi po ako magaling sumaya. <laughs> Hindi naman kailangan magaling. <laughs> Mas kaya ko po yung pantropic. Ah, sige, okay. pantropic ko. Okay. Paano ba? Naniya ko. <laughs> um, ayan. Pantropiko, pantropiko, o oh, sa isang pantropiko, yes. Bagay sa background na blue. <laughs> <laughs> maraming maraming salamat Kay at Stephen. And now it's time for round two. Sa round na to, mga contestants, dapat may konting strategy involved. Dahil sa round na to, correct answers are worth 20 points each. But you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. So, let's, let's begin. begin. This is round two. Question number one. Which K-pop group hit the music charts with the single How Sweet in June 2024? A year? New Jeans. Let me proceed. After they released the singles OMG and Super Shy, New Jeans is correct. They check. Question number two. What is the name of the adult film star who got involved in, in the legal dispute with Donald Trump in 2018 about hush money. The correct answer is Stormy Daniels. Question number three. In June 2024, two raptors were airflown from Davao to Tacloban in a mission to repopulate what province with Philippine eagles. The correct answer is Leyte. Question number four. Meaning cheerful, what is the title of the Pharrell Williams hit song? Happy. Let me proceed. Hit song that was part of the soundtrack of the animated film Despicable Me 2. Happy is correct. Okay, check. Question number five. What girl's name may also be spelled like a word that means the day or night before an important event. Yesterday. Yesterday is wrong. <laughs> Anyone can answer? Except for Gracial. The correct answer is E. Unless may name na rin na yesterday. <laughs> okay. Next question, number six. Which Disney princess is a friend of Dopey, okay. Snow White. Let me proceed. Dopey, Sleepy, and five of their associates. Correct answer is Snow White. Okay, check. Question number seven. What type of precipitation has elevated levels of hydrogen ions due to air emissions of sulfur and nitrogen oxides? Okay, Acid rain. Acid rain is correct. Okay, check. Question number eight. 
which American singer hit number one with his 2018 single, This Is America? Um, Donald Glover. Let me proceed and release the studio album Ata Vista in 2024. The correct answer is Childish Gambino or Donald Glover. Okay, check. Question number nine. What type of disease is someone with dermatophobia afraid of? Okay. Skin. Skin or skin disease is correct. Okay, check. Question number 10. Ciudad de La Paz is set to replace Malabo as capital of which African country? The correct answer is Equatorial Guinea. Next question, number 11. Complete the phrase attributed to John Clark in the 17th century. Early to bed and early to rise makes a man healthy, wealthy, and blank. Okay. Wise. Wise is correct. Okay, check. Last question for this round, number 12. Which Italian explorer who completed four Spain-sponsored voyages across the Atlantic Ocean has a surname that is the basis of the names of a South American country, a Canadian province, the capital of Ohio, and the capital of the United States. Gracia. Marco Polo. Marco Polo is wrong. Anyone can steal. The correct answer is Christopher Columbus. So just a note, the country we're talking about is Colombia. The Canadian province is British Columbia. The capital of Ohio is Columbus, and the U.S. capital is Washington, D.C., or District of Columbia. That ends round number two. Thank you very much, Jules, for that round. And after that round, we do have Kay in the lead with 120 points, followed by Gracial with 70, Stephen with 20, and Joanne with a bit of catching up to do. And up next, ang pinakaiintay na natin, ang ultimate pagalingan round. Dito lang po sa Kay Check. Now let's do a scores recap. K is in the lead with 120 points, followed by Gracial with 70 points, then Steven with 20 points, and Joanne pwede pang humabol. But in the lead man si K, ay may chance pa rin makahabol ang iba as we go into our ultimate pagalingan round. Dito sa ating panel of experts, manggagaling ang mga katanungan. Correct answers are worth 30 points each, pero may 15-point deduction for wrong answers. So, contestants, sanda na ba kayo? This will be a multiple choice round and we will accept the answer itself or the answer and the letter, but not the letter only. Good luck everyone. Let's, Let's begin. begin. Simulan na natin ang ating ultimate pagalingan round. First question from Prof. Sophie. Thanks Jules. Um, what compositional guideline usually employed in photography Divides an image into nine equal parts. Okay. Rule of thirds. I'll just finish the question. Um, nine equal parts by two equally spaced horizontal lines and two equally spaced vertical lines. Important visual elements should be placed along these lines or their intersections. What is the guideline called? A. Golden ratio. B. Symmetry C. Asymmetry D. Rule of Thirds E. Vanishing Point Rule of Thirds is correct K. Check Thank you Prof Masaya Neil. si Prof yes. Sophie One point agad si Prof Sophie <laughs> Prof Neil, go ahead please Ano ang kongregasyon ng mga pari sa pangunguna ni Padre Andres de Ortoneta ang kasama sa paglalayag K. Agustinian Okay, tatapusin ko lang yung tanong at mga choices. Nakasama sa paglalayag ni Miguel Lopez de Legazpi na nakarating sa bansa noong 1565. A. Agustino B. Dominicano C. Jesuita D. Francescano E. Recoleto Ang tamang sagot ay letter A. Agustino K. Check Happy na rin si Prof. Neil Hindi natin ko magiging happy si Prof. Marla <laughs> Sana? Biology. 
How many pairs of sex chromosomes does a normal human have? Stephen. Uh, 18. Mali. Letter A. Rachel. 64. Mali. The choices are A, 46, B, 23, C, 22, D, 2, E, 1. Joanne. C, 22. Mali. Okay. A, 46. Mali pa rin. <laughs> Naku. Nalito kayo siguro dun sa pairs of sex chromosomes. So, ang normal human merong 23 pairs. So, ang total 46. Ang 22 pairs, autosomes. Yung one pair, sex chromosomes. So, the correct answer is E1. Thank you. Now, round two na tayo. Prof. Sophie, next question please. Okay. Um... The Index of Forbidden Books, established in 1555 and discontinued in 1966, is a list of works considered heretical or contrary to the teachings of the Catholic Church. What long-running Broadway musical is based on a novel that was on the list until 1959? A. Phantom of the Opera B. Cats C. Les Miserables D. Wicked E. Hamilton A. C. Les Miserables um, That was a very edu well-educated guess. Um, Les Miserables by Victor Hugo is correct. Okay, check. Thank you. Tama pa rin si Prof. Sophie. Oo, masaya. Na. Masayang masaya si Prof. Sophie. <laughs> Prof. Neil. Sana makaisa, makaisa pa ako. Okay. <laughs> Sinong scholar ang namuno sa isang grupo ng mga archaeologists noong 2007 na nakatuklas ng taong kalyaw na sinasabing nabuhay ng 67,000 na taon na nakalilipas sa bansa? A. Robert Fox B. Felipe Landa Hocano C. Arman Mijares D. Victor Paz E. William Henry Scott Stephen B. F. Felipe Landa Hocano Mali B. A. Robert Fox Mali Si Arman Mijares. Siya rin ang namuno sa isang archaeological expedition noong 2019 na sila rin nakatuklas ng Homo Locinensis. Ang tamang sagot ay letter C, Arman Mijares, K-check. Thank you. Prof. Marla. What term refers to the concentration of solutes in a solution? A. Osmosis. B. Tonicity C. Diffusion D. Entropy E. Exothermic Joanne C. Diffusion Mali Stephen uh, Entropy Mali Rachel Osmosis Mali pa rin okay. Exothermic Mali pa rin <laughs> Pangalawa na to. Okay, Prof. Sabi Marla. ni Prof. Marla, 4 out of 5, wala pa rin nakakuha ng sagot for the second time. Yes. So, ang natitira na lang ay B, tonicity. Okay. Sabi ni Gracel, alam ko sana yun eh. <laughs> Attorney, we're halfway done. So, let's do a scores recap. We're halfway done. And after that second round, K is still in the lead with 165 points. Followed by Gracel with 40 points, Joanne with 0, and Stephen with negative 25 points. So we still have 180 points na pwede nyo makuha sa next uh, final two rounds natin. Oh, wala pang imposible at this point in time. Right. So, simula na natin, Prof. Sophie. Thank you. Um, ito unahan lang to, I think. Adding white to a color 
creates a tint. What is created by adding black to a color? A. Hue B. Shade C. Pastel D. Saturation E. Intensity Joanne A. Hue Wali po B. B. Shade um, yes, no, um, literally, you add shade, no, but when you add make, when you add black, no, so shade is correct, okay, check. Three points na si Prof. Three Sophie. points na si Prof. Parang mas interesado kami ngayon din sa, <laughs> sa score <laughs> ng ating scoring. panel of experts. Three out of three na si Prof. Sophie. Eh, si Prof. Neil kaya? Sana, Third. makat, yeah, makatatlo ako ngayon. This presidency facilitated the signing of the Visiting Forces Agreement or VFA with the United States in 1998. A. Corazon Aquino Stephen uh, uh, Fidel V. Ramos Mali B. Benigno Aquino III C. Joseph Estrada B. Gloria Macapagal Arroyo E. Fidel Ramos. K. C. Joseph Estrada. K. Ang galing ni K. Naisip lang niya sino kasunod ni FVR. <laughs> Siya rin ang presidente yung pinatalsik dahil sa EDSA 2. Ang tamang sagot ay letter C. Joseph Estrada. K. Check. Thank you. Prof. Marla, tingnan natin kung magbabago ang <laughs> pattern. <laughs> Sana makascore na tayo. Okay. What hormone triggers contractions during childbirth? A. Oxytocin B. Melatonin C. Estrogen D. Insulin E. Prolactin Prolactin Mali C. Estrogen Mali. Rachel. A. Oxytocin. Sa wakas. <laughs> the correct answer is A. Oxytocin. K. Check. Yes. Nagbago na ang kapalara ni Prof. Marla. Sa second half. Although sasagot sana ako kanina after four children, alam na alam ko <laughs> kung alin ang nag induce ng, ano, ng contractions. Okay, so ngayon na ni last round na tayo. Last 90 points for our contestants. So, Prof. Sophie, go ahead. Thank you. What sculpture by Michelangelo stands 17 feet tall and has an unusually large head and hands, which was intentional to make it appear proportional from a distance? A. Pieta B. Descent from the Cross C. Moses D. David E. Dying Slave okay. David Yes, David is 17 feet tall and has um, slightly larger you know, head and hands um, to make it appear proportional and more monumental from a distance So David is correct K. Check Four out of four ang score ni Prof. Sophie today. Congratulations. <laughs> Last question from Prof. Neil naman. Sana perfect score din ako. <laughs> sa sinaunang lipunan, ito yung tawag sa tagapagbalita na lumilibot sa pamayanan upang maparating sa mga tao ang mga bagong batas, patakaran, o gawain. A. Hangaway B. Luaran C. Pandita D. Turogan E. Omalohokan well, Sayang. It was a fail today to get a perfect score, Prof. Neil. Tamang sagot ay letter E. Omalohokan Thank you. Last question for this whole round, Prof. Marla. Tingnan natin kung makakascore siya ulit. Okay. 
which gas law states that the volume of gas increases as the pressure decreases? A. Ideal gas law B. Ohm's law C. Avogadro's law D. Charles law E. Boyle's law Laman lang nagtry. The correct answer is E. Boyle's Law. And that's it for our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan. Congratulations to K, our K-Check Daily Winner with a final score of 255 points. We'll see her again on Friday when she competes with our other daily winners for a spot in our semi-finals. Maraming salamat din kay Joanne, kay Gracial at kay Stephen for joining us today. And of course, sa mga miyembro po ng ating panel of experts, Professor Sophie, Professor Neil, and Professor Marla. Ako po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion. At ako naman po si Jules Giang. Join us again tomorrow for another K-Check! K -check.